this is Stella and thank you for coming and watching another video. Today I want to talk about the importance of presence and exploration and letting life inspire you effortlessly. To really let the presence sink in and letting yourself be in the moment. And to naturally look for beautiful and interesting things around you. There's so many ways for you to practice your presence in your daily life. And I've kind of tapped into this topic several times in my videos. Probably because the videos are always a way for me to remind myself of things that I know to be true to myself, but that I need a little reminder on. One of the ways I like to practice presence is through analog photography. You have to be very intentional with the photos you take because there's a very limited amount of photos that you can take and also it costs to buy the roll and the development of the photo so every photo you take is kind of precious. It's a way to capture sensations, visuals, colors, experiences, emotions that you see around you. I have a very lightweight camera that I like to have in my bag that is almost completely automatic. That makes it easier for me to just take it out whenever I really want to capture something that has caught my attention. In some ways I also become more attentive to my surroundings and the little details when I'm walking around with the intention of capturing something. It really forces you to pay attention to your surroundings in a different way and to appreciate your surroundings in a different way. But there are so many ways you can practice presence. It's all about finding the right way for you. And presence is like a muscle you have to keep training. And by having different practices where you train yourself to be in the moment, you naturally train your eye to pay attention to beautiful things that inspire you in general. My latest collection actually got inspired at the gym. I was working on, on the ellipse machine, I think you call it, and there's a little screen where I could walk through an environment while I was using the machine. I think the environment was supposed to be seen from a natural park in Costa Rica, if I'm not mistaken. And at that point, I decided to create something inspired by their surroundings used the environment as an inspiration for a color scheme, letting the surroundings around you, letting the surroundings be taken into the painting I wanted to create. I decided to bring that into my newer pieces using colors inspired by their environments of the people depicted in the paintings. The colors become the environment that they grew up in. It becomes their background, their heritage in a way. The texture and patterns, the colors, also becomes a representation of the complexity of their stories and their background. And also the portraits are inspired in the colors of 
the environments that these people come from. And it was that little speck of presence that made me inspired to create. And that's how I researched the color schemes of all of the different people in this photo. I'm going to talk more about the paintings in the next video where I'm continuing the painting process so that you can see more of how they're made and the story behind them. If you're in the Barcelona area, they are currently in this location, so you can go and have a look if you want. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you next time.